We're going to talk about the names of your forces. Normal force. Your normal force is your reaction force. It is always perpendicular to the surface. So right now you are sitting in a chair and the chair is pushing up on your butt. Okay. Um, now, if all of a sudden you took a watermelon and put a watermelon in your lap, now the chair is going to push up on your butt even harder because now it needs to hold up you and the watermelon. If it does not push up hard enough to hold up you and the watermelon, now you will land on the floor. So our normal force is going to react. That's what I mean by reaction force is if the force gets bigger as like in reaction or in response to things changing. Um, you'll notice with each of these, the F stays the same and it's just the little subscript that changes. So this little subscript N is for normal. G is for gravitational force. Here's the equation for gravitational force. Guess what? It's on your equation sheet. Woo! So, um, FG is gravitational force. That's equal to your mass times the gravitational field strength. On Earth, the gravitational field strength is 9.8. If you go to the moon, the moon's gravitational field strength is like 1.6. If you go to Jupiter, G is like 25. But almost all the problems that you guys will be doing take place on Earth because that's where you will probably spend most of your life. So we'll just stick with 9.8 for a lot of the stuff, okay? Um, FP is a push force. So if there's something pushing or pulling on something, I call it a push force. FT is a tension. So this is going to be your pull. So you've got pushes and pulls. So FP is your push. FT is your tension. That's your pull. Think of a string or a rope. You can only pull with a string. You cannot push. And the last most common force that we will be talking about is frictional force. Frictional force is always parallel to the surface and it is always opposite the direction of motion. So if anything is moving, it's always going to work against you. So if you're going to the right, friction will be to the left. If you're going to the left, friction will be to the right. Now, these are not like an all encompassing list of all of the different forces that you can have. These are just the most common and the letters for what I want you to use when we're labeling our force diagrams. Any questions about these five forces? One thing I want you to notice is that out of all of these, there is only one of them that you don't have to have physical contact to do, which is the force that you do not have to be touching in order to have the force applied. Good, gravitational force. That is the only one that you can exert right now that we're talking about without physical touching. Otherwise, it's like uh, electrostatic forces and magnetic forces that do not need to touch. But we're not there yet. We're going to focus on these five for now.